Raven lads, welcome back to Kosi Zaslo Podcast. My name is Kosi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. It's another beautiful Wednesday. We are back again with Arsenal News, Arsenal News Now, Arsenal Updates. And of course, make sure you smash a like on the video. Last Tuesday, um, we went, we had the most uh, liked video on the internet. So make sure you, you like this video. Let us get it to 200 and 50 likes people let's make sure i do that because um you know in the recent videos really the likes have been really amazing so every thank thank you everybody who's been doing that smash a like on the video right about now 250 likes is our target of course in this video we're gonna be speaking about, you know, speaking about a couple of things ateta's honeymoon is up uh, is absolutely over now talk about sacking Mikel Arteta if the performances do not improve has actually intensified not really from the fans and not really from Mikel Arteta uh, you know Mikel Arteta out uh, critics it is actually coming in from true sources the Mikel Arteta will and should turn things around if he's going to stay in the Arsenal job we'll try to dive into that look at how true the rumors are and maybe who are the some of who are some of the managers that are being linked with Arsenal at the moment? Kuliseski. There will be a meeting with Juventus that has been confirmed, and Arsenal and Juve are about to agree on the price. Arsenal still, you know, offering something very, very, uh, you know, uh, you know, very close to what Juve want, but again, less. Uh, you know, Juve wants something close to 40 million euros, and Arsenal are looking at around 35 million euros plus bonuses. We'll be diving into that. Maybe there. Should should be a deal done uh you know uh, done agreed uh in january arthur Mello as well juve are more willing to let arthur Mello go in january and obviously they will uh, they will let him go on an 18 month loan that is really interesting um, you know interesting asked one of the clubs interested uh two premier league clubs have been confirmed interested in arthur Mello as well as clubs in spain but at the moment arsenal is the only club we know interested in Arthur Mello as winner and of course the, uh, Dennis Zakaria the recent update from uh, Fabrizio Romano Baka Liverpool are all interested in taking the young Swiss midfielder so we'll be diving into that as well to see where are these things going to end and can you believe reports are indicating that Dusan Vlahovic is the only Arsenal target or Arsenal are the only uh, you know are, are the only club interested in Dusan Vlahovic right now no other club wants Dusan Vlahovic 30 goals in 40 appearances this season in 2021 it's really interesting really really interesting but we will try to dive into that and see can that give us a huge boost the fact that we are the only club at the moment that is really serious about taking Dusan Vlahovic let's know and let's get to know in this video subscribe to the channel smash a like on the video let's get our party started and of course to start the party i'll start off with um uh, the rumors and reports around Mikel Arteta. Now, a report I've looked at shows that Mikel Arteta's honeymoon is absolutely over. It is no longer the um, it's no longer the time uh, when we are going to give him, when the Cronkies and the board are going to give him um, more time. It is no longer that time uh, when Mikel Arteta is just going to be out there, uh, you know, sourcing for more players, asking for more uh, more resources. He's been given the team he wants. He's been given the time. Two years. Those are uh, th that is around 700 days to prepare his team. Yes, he came in at the club at a very, very diff you know, difficult time, and that's why the board and that's why uh, the likes of uh, uh, Edu have given him the time. They have given him the space to prepare his, you know, his own team, to prepare his own, uh, you know, his own resources at the club. Now they're saying reports are claiming the Mikel Arteta's time to, uh, you know, to enjoy his, you know, his honeymoon, to, um, to, to walk away untouched with bad results is actually coming to an end. Yesterday, I did report that there were reports that Arsenal were looking at sacking Mikel Arteta if, rep uh, if, if results do not get any better. So the honey peri honeymoon period uh, for, um, for Mikel Arteta is actually over. Managers like Eric, you know, Eric Ten Hag at the moment are being looked at. Managers like... Um, Ronald Koeman are being looked at as a, as potential replacements of Mikel Arteta if things do not get back to normal. Now, of course, guys, my opinion about Mikel is very, very, very clear. I, I've said it before and I said it yesterday. For me, Mikel is a good manager, not for Arsenal Football Club. He will be a very good manager for Celtic, for Rangers, for Derby County. 
go you know if, if he goes there gets the experience uh becomes that sort of important manager uh you know in those you know lower you know lower league teams and then builds his cv builds his up uh, you know style of play and things like that builds a philosophy uh gets a philosophy of himself you know for himself that is what he needs as a manager at the moment staying around arsenal of course it's gonna be very very hard for him to go from uh from a club like arsenal and then go and manage derby county or Sheffield united but for me i know at the moment if he left arsenal no big club would actually take him in and of course clubs like aston villa i don't even think aston villa or any other club in the premier league would be looking to take uh, you know looking to take um Mikel Arteta at the moment so i think it's a big problem the Arsenal's hired him and of course we have a very very big problem that he is our manager yes he has tried to turn things around he has turned the corner beaten uh, a lot of his critics um you know uh, for a period of two months eight games unbeaten that was really wonderful but again guys there is that element there is that element of character that element of uh, uh, of attitude that the mindset he has actually failed to bring about the mindset this club deserves and the mindset that this club demands of course uh you know you, you could actually you know argue uh you know you know a couple of points out that he's still a young manager he still has a young team and things like that and he's only, he's only been with this team for less than a season but one, one, one or two things i'm going to say is that we're not going to be out of the europa league for, all, for you know for, for, for all um you know our lives out of the champions league for all our lives because we are waiting for a manager to mercure because we're waiting for a manager to get his grip and get his form back so Mikel Arteta's honeymoon is over and I'm one of those people who are absolutely, absolutely not surprised and will never be surprised if Arsenal wake up one day and sack Mikel Arteta. Yes, they have given him the resources, they have given him the players, but just imagine if they gave him a James Madison instead of a Martin Odegaard. Just imagine if they gave him a striker uh, in the summer. Just imagine if they brought him in uh, a Ruben Neves instead of an Albusem Conga. They set him up to fail and finally he will fail and of course he's gonna be another scapegoat in the Kronky circus. He's gonna be another scap you know, scapegoat uh, you know, in this Kronky era. He will be sacked and I won't be really surprised if he gets the sack. Now moving on guys to the next story and that is Dijan Oh, I was about to say Dijan Blahovic. Dijan Kuliseski. There will be a meeting that has been confirmed. There will be a meeting between Arsenal and Juventus very, very soon to discuss the future of Dijan uh, Kuliseski. Now, according to the latest rumors, many Arsenal reports and um, many Arsenal blogs are saying that Kuliseski could be the only signing, the only signing, and I'll repeat, he might be the only signing that Arsenal get in January. For, uh, you know, best of the fact that Dennis Zakaria will not be moving in the January transfer window. And if he moves, it is not going to be Arsenal definitely at the moment because we do not have Champions League football or even the least Europa League football or at least the least which is UEFA Conference League football. We, do, we have neither of that and it shows Dennis Zakaria does not want to join a club that, do not, uh, that, that, that does not have any of those European competitions. Now, what, uh, 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 the information I know and the information that I'm getting at the moment, Arsenal and, uh, and, 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 and Juve are not very far apart and there could be an agreement reached between the two clubs valuation of Dijan uh, Kuliseski. Kulis uh, Arsenal value Kuliseski at around 35 million, um, 35 million euros. They want to add bonuses to entice the deal. They want to add bonuses to that and that could be one of the very, very enti you know, enticing, uh, you know, maybe things that, uh, you know, that, that, that can force Juve into selling. Uh, Juve, on the other hand, are valuing Dijan Kuliseski at 40 million euros. They would love to have bonuses on there. Again, guys, when you look at it, the valuation between the two clubs is not very far. You were there at 40 million euros, and of course, Arsenal there at 35 million euros. The valuation not very far, the, the valuation not far apart. It's just 5 million euros, it's just a difference of 5 million euros it could be juventus that accept the money or it could be arsenal that accept to increase the offer and then we can get the player now of course the problem with arsenal at the moment is scoring goals and of course we've seen it in the last you know, in the last two games much united we lost there because we didn't take our chances and we didn't clean up and of course um in the everton game i don't i hardly uh you know you know don't feel uh that we didn't create enough i think in the everton game they were really porous and we created enough we 
brought in the chances. Odegaard, two chances missed. Aubameyang, a glorious chance missed. Edin Ketia, a glorious chance missed. And so many other chances that we created in that game. But of course, the finishing there in that game was absolutely, you know, very, very poor. Now, the, of course, the question now with uh, Dijon Kuliseski, is he the player? Is he the man that can actually bring an end to the goal drought at Arsenal? He has only scored one goal in, in, in 17 appearances for Juve, one goal for, uh, you know, in, in almost 20 appearances for Sweden. But of course, we know he is a talent. He is a gem. He might not, you know, he might not score many goals, but again, in, when it comes to creativity, when it comes to that player who can provide something different, a cut, you know, a cut out of the box, that player that can actually pull off something that could be Dijan Kuliseski. So there will be a meeting between Arsenal representatives and Juve representatives to see whether the valuation will actually reach a consensus, but it is not very far. This close. It is this close. If Arsenal can add 5 million euros to the valuation, they get the player. And of course, if Juve can reduce 5 million euros on their valuation, we get the player. So either way, Arsenal benefit from this. Either way, we will get our man. Either way, we will be in the driving seat when it comes to Dijan Kuliseski. The good thing at the moment is that Spurs are almost, almost flinching out of the rest they are not even our match in this race arsenal are believed to be the club that will take dijan kuliseski our interest in the player is unmatched our interest is absolutely absolutely genuine we would love to take him there at the emory stadium he doesn't want to join spurs he wants to join arsenal we have more advantages in this deal as compared to spurs the only question is can we make this deal happen in the general transfer window because again juve are looking to bolster are looking to strengthen their squad they want the likes of kuliseski out they like they want the likes of athamelo out they like the, 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 they want the likes of ramsey out and many players Adrian Rabio as well, ever linked with Arsenal. I'll never speak about him again. But of course, Rabio also is wanted out of Juve. They want to build something new. They want to rebuild. They want to get a re rebuild at the moment at the club. And obviously, with the rebuild coming in, they have to clear some of the players that they are not using. And that is Melo, Bentaco, the likes of uh, Kuliseski, Ramsey and Rabio. So let us wait and see whether Juve and Arsenal will reach an agreement for Dijan Kuliseski. Now Arsenal are also planning a double swoop or a double uh, you know, inversion to Juve and the other player they want is called Arthur Melo. Now what is interesting about Arthur Melo at the moment is that Juve are not even interested in keeping Arthur Melo. They are of course Personally, I know that Juve getting Arthur Melo was a huge mistake, very, very big mistake. Of course, we know that they got him in a swap deal between, uh, you know, uh, between between uh, between them and Barcelona. Milarem Pjanic moving to the other side, and of course, Arthur Melo moving to this side. Barcelona, what a mug of a club! The, uh, at the moment, I think in the crisis in which Barcelona are, they would use the services of a player like Arthur Melo. They would do, you know, they, they would use, uh, you know, uh, the talent of a player like Arthur Melo. But but of course, uh, you know, guys, Arsenal are interested in Arthur Melo. And the reports coming in from Turin at the moment, they indicate that Juve will sell Arthur Melo and they will actually agree to an 18-month loan deal for Arthur Melo. That means that that is a season and a half, isn't it? Almost a season and a half, they will agree to an 18-month uh, loan deal for Arthur Melo as long as the, uh, the loan deal includes an obligation to buy for me this is another one on the matter of course you've got to be very very skeptical there about um about arthur Melo and of course you know his readiness to play at the moment i don't see him as a player on fire really but there is talent again there is talent there is that player that can actually progress the ball there is uh, you know in him that player that can give you all the benefits you do not have in players like Jaka, you do not have players like Partey, you do not have players in, uh, in, in players like Mohamed Eleni. He can't give you all the benefits, the goal scoring ability, the chance, you know, uh, the creating ability. Of course, there for me, you're getting another Thiago Alcantara in um, in Arthur Melo if you get him. You are not using him at the moment. Of course, there's, there are so many questions there. Why are they not using him? Is it because they have so many players in that midfield? Is it because he doesn't fit into the style uh, of the manager? There, Allegri uh, uh, at um, at Juve. There's so many questions there, but for me, 
I know and I believe that if Arsenal want to get in a serious player, if we want to get in a serious, serious player, Arthur Melo in that midfield would be the perfect midfielder. Obviously, I can't say that Arsenal will sign this one, but Juve are desperate, very, very desperate to let some of the players go. Juve are desperate to let Arthur Melo go. They're also desperate to let the likes of um, Dijan Kuliseski you know, go. It doesn't mean that we can get them at a on a free or on loan deals, but that means we can get them at a cheaper price on a bargain and that is what Arsenal is good at get players on a bargain probably refine them make them better it's a tactic that we've used ever since that at Senga, you know Asen Benga was here and of course it really worked for us if we can get that one done if we can get Arthur Melo and Dijan Kuliseski they would add something to this squad do you think guys I don't think it will, you know it will be uh, you know uh, uh, you know a swap deal or anything like that. But what I think is Arthur Melo could come in to join Arsenal probably on loan for a, you know a full season or probably a, a season and a half, and then we can see and decide whether to buy him or not. And obviously, if it's something with Dijan Kuliszewski, bring him on loan in January and then sign him up in the summer when things actually do get better. Moving on, uh, it's Dennis Zakaria lives now. Um, I've spoken about uh, much about Denis Zakaria, and Fabrizio Romano now has given us a very, very clear picture of what is going on between Arsenal and the other clubs, and then Denis Zakaria and Borussia Mönchengladbach. We now know what is happening with the man there, Denis Zakaria. What is going to happen with his transfer? Is it in January? Is it in the summer? Of course, my man, the true, authentic source. Fabrizio Romano has just come out and said it is not going to be look listen it is not going to be in January Borussia Mönchengladbach will lose the player on a free in that um in the summer right about now they want to keep their best players they want to keep all the players intact they want to keep their squad intact they, yes uh, Zakaria can have talks can have um uh, you know uh, can hold talks with any other club can sign a pre-contract with a foreign club in January but that doesn't mean he's gonna leave the club in January it will be in the summer and of course Fabrizio Romano there has actually come out and outlined all the clubs that are interested in Dennis Zakaria Arsenal number one club Liverpool the second club interested uh, in the player Barcelona there interesting really interesting because I didn't know that, of course, Zakaria is in, or ha, you know, has interest from Barcelona and the latest giant star, Bayern Munich, also interested in getting Dennis Zakaria from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Of course, um, I do expect Borussia Dortmund to join the queue later. Obviously, we know the uh, the rapport between Dortmund and, uh, and 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 Gladbach. They always sell players to Dortmund. They always get players from Gladbach, don't they? But of course, my guys, my, my guys, what I'm one thing I'm gonna say about Dennis Zakaria at the moment, we are not desperate to get in a player like. Dennis Zakaria. We are not desperate. Xhaka is back, so we can wait until the end of the season uh, to decide which midfielder joins the club and which midfielder actually does. And the reason that's why I wanted Dennis Zakaria very, very urgently in January, because Thomas Party was leaving, and obviously his form is absolutely shit at the moment. And then Xhaka was out for a very, very long time. I was scared there. But at the moment, I would prefer to bring in someone better like Arthur Melo, bring in someone who can progress the ball like Arthur Melo on a loan deal and probably sign him you know, sign them in the summer after six months of you know of watching them playing at Arsenal and playing under the Mikel Arteta philosophy and the Mikel Arteta style. So Dennis Zakaria could be heading to Bayern, Barcelona, um uh Liverpool any club that is interested will take him. It doesn't seem like it will be Arsenal. One thing I know about Dennis Zakaria, and I can confirm, is that he wants a club with European football. So Barcelona, the, uh, the fact that they are seventh in the, you know, in, you know, in the league at the moment, if they do not qualify for Europa League or Champions League, they should forget all about signing Dennis Zakaria. That means Liverpool and Bayern maybe could be the clubs that are really, really in the rest. But of course, Arsenal there also keeping a very, very close eye. Arsenal interested, but at the moment there are no talks. Yes, the player knows of the interest from other, you know, from, from clubs, and he has re you know, received offers from clubs around Europe. But at the moment there are no talks to confirm that he will be joining any of those clubs at the moment my name is Kossi. thanks everybody smash a like on the video subscribe to the thing right about now and i'll speak to you very 
very soon catch you live my internet is a little bit down but of course if it comes back then we'll be discussing more of the transfers and of course the future the Mikel Ateta has uh, Arsenal Football Club